The Rorik summer travels became a hot topic in Delhi, London, and Washington, attracting renewed attention from US and UK officials. Major Gillen, puzzled by Rarick's sudden presence in Moscow, questioned the innocence of his expedition. The British Foreign Office, now suspecting Rarick of being a communist spy, gathered information and requested their Moscow mission to investigate his visit. This led to mistaken assumptions, such as Rarick accepting Soviet citizenship and spending a long period in Leningrad. Letters of complaint were sent to the US Embassy in London, accusing the Americans of recommending Rarick despite possible communist ties. Stephen Gaisley of the Foreign Office expressed frustration, as India would not have allowed Rarick's journey without the American recommendation. The possibility of Rarick being involved in a communist plot alarmed the British, given the deteriorating Anglo-Soviet relations in 1927. The Americans remained more composed, with Nelson Johnson of the Division of Far Eastern Affairs not surprised by the British reaction. He acknowledged Rarick's dangerous journey but believed there was likely no cause for concern. Johnson mentioned Rarick's association with a group who established a New York City museum for his art and suggested investigating the Corona Mundi organization. Eventually, the U.S. State Department investigated Rarick's ventures. In the meantime, U.S. officials tried to appease the unsatisfied British, who took decisive action to prevent Rarick from ever seeing the Potala's walls once they located him and determined his destination.